In this session, we're going to talk about the ways that Signet clients can create flock reports from the new database, both in PDF and electronic format. The great thing about the database is that it's extremely flexible, and so you can produce real-time reports, giving you exactly the information that you want to see uh, on them. So to get started, head to the Signet database, and I'm currently logged on as administrator, so you'll see a few more um, drop downs on my menus and we're logged in as Stuart for as well who's one of my employees so we can use his data. If we head to reports you can see sheep reports at the top with some beef ones at the bottom that you don't need to worry about and the main one that you need today is flock report so the sub menu under reports flock report. If we head to that we see that um, uh, some parameters are already set to it for creating reports and these can all be changed. The flock reports work on the basis of animals being born between a certain period, so lambs being born between a start date and end date, and it will then pull forward either those animals or the animals in the previous 12 months, which would be the shearlings, or their parents, either their sires or their dams. So for the purposes of this report, we're quite happy with the dates. It's today's date and 12 months beforehand. Uh, for sex, we can either have the males, the females, or all the lambs. And you can have just the live ones only if you wish, uh, or you can have all. If you do choose just the live ones, remember it won't pull through their sires or their dams onto the report either. So if you want all of the ewes or rams in your flock, then I would suggest you use all. You can sort them by flock book number order or in index order. And you can either have lambs, sires and dams, or just lambs, uh, just shearlings, just sires, for example. Uh, in fact, lambs, shearlings, sires and dams for the smaller flocks will run absolutely fine. So for this report, we're going to be interested, I think, in lambs. I just want the males. Um, I'll happily have them in uh, index order and I'm just going to have the live ones. Click on run report and it will go off and create a table for us. That data is fine, but to make it really useful, click on produce report and up comes a PDF. And that PDF has all the information in it uh, that you will require. So animal identities, sire and dam on this side, some raw data here and some breeding values across on the right hand side of the screen. You can make the reports a little bit more useful because you can actually go back and uh, run them over a longer time period. So quite a nice example. Let's go for a, let's say a 10 year stretch here. And the interest now, I'm going to set this to all and to all but is uh, actually the, the rams used within the flock. So head on to size of lambs. Over 10 years, it'll take a little longer to run, but I can actually create a report now showing me all the sires that have been used over a period of time. So you can see a great big list. Um, and that's really great. You will just get a, um, a blank page thrown at the top of the sires. So ignore that. You can use that for scribbling on. Uh, but the second page onwards is the information that you require. Um, and so you can now see details of all the sires that uh, Stuart's used over time. So great versatility. The other thing that people will want to do is to create electronic versions. So again, go to the reports page, down to electronic flock reports. You see exactly the same set of menus. Um, and then once again, I can click, click and collect the information that I need. Um, outputs, you can have either EBVs or EBVs and accuracy values or standardized values. That's where we set the average to every trait as 100. Um, and you can also uh, get inbreeding values for these animals dropped on the end as well. So a number of different uh, electronic options. And again, click run report. And you now will get the option to either get an Excel file or a CSV file created when that runs. Now I can click on that uh, and that's created an Excel file for me but if I open that you won't be able to see it so uh, I'm sure we all know what a, an Excel file looks like but I can just scroll down and show you uh, a picture and example. So here's Stuart's details for his lambs. You can see that in the first category I've just marked it in yellow to show that the category whether they're lambs, shearlings, sires or dams will be listed and then you've got all of the information that you can sort and filter to your heart's content. So that's fairly basic reporting. 
The last thing that I will just look at while we're on the reports page, I've gone uh, back to reports through the flock report. There's another sub menu here, the breed benchmark. And if I click on that, uh, I can then, uh, it's a drop down menu, but I'm interested in, uh, in uh, Hampshire Downs, which is already selected. I can click run report and uh, I get the information I need. Again, this is in various formats. You can copy the data onto the clipboard if you wish, but probably the easiest way for me to show you it is in the producing report, which is a PDF that comes up that I can then save and download as I see fit. So lots of information for you to use within the reporting section. Uh, if you need more help, then just drop us an email and we'll be happy to assist.